Hello and welcome back to Rule the Waves 2. We are playing Imperial Germany in the 1900s start. It is 1944 and we are facing the British in a naval battle. So far the war has been, ah, well, with mixed results. Um, we have tactically probably won a big naval battle, but in total the losses um, might be harder to suffer for the German Navy than for the British. As we can see, they currently still have 13 battle cruisers in service against just three on our side. I mean, our three are 50,000 ton beasts. So in that regard, they can hold their own against to a certain degree. And in battleships, we have a big superiority, but in total they have 15 against 11 um, capital ships. We are currently in another battle. And, um, well, once more it could have been better. Our carriers once more are keen on charging into enemy fleets. And um, I think several of our ships have been torpedoed once more. But um, let's just continue. So we see the... Um, Destroyers, the enemy destroyers are charging in. Can I for send mine in here? No, I can't. Blücher, can he probably... Hmm. Okay, so they are turning away. In general, I want, obviously, in this phase, I want my ships to disengage. I can't honestly, even though the um, last battle was only yesterday, I can't really remember or, um, what the outcome was. I think my carrier planes have hit some battleships and battle cruisers with torpedoes. At least they identified them as such. And as we can see, the three British heavy cruisers have been sunk. And I don't think there has been any significant loss on the German side yet. But those, for instance, could be in danger from enemy um, torpedoes and um, I f looking here is a lot of the ships definitely are in need of um, wait are in, are in need of repairs or to disengage and regarding how hard this is being hit those should be battle cruisers or battleships yes okay maybe his torpedoes can do something before he's being sunk um, like this up here, fire, and um, okay, yeah, that's it. He's going down. Maybe that one can fire. Nope, friendly in line of sight. Let's take quick manual control and just get away here and try out of arcs everything okay hey there um, yeah no higher ground <laughs> and um, okay one torpedo hit so far it doesn't look too great against the war against Britain and we'll have to see about the steel division later whether or not they're going to keep drilling the walls and how much they are because if it's too too much I can't stream but I'll try to why is it out of arcs I don't get that does he need to turn further south south maybe like this oh come on pause out of arc let's go to full speed and try to keep close to them but at least we found the battleships. Okay, we need to check on our battleships now whether we can send some up. That one looks good. Um, okay, I guess. This one is basically crippled. Um, whereas those two are probably 
50%. No, this one shouldn't engage. This one has some flooding damage too. I don't think I re can really risk going after them. So I'll try that Deutsch Ostafrika gets some more torpedoes off. And that's about it. Which is realistically possible, I guess. And of course, maybe the carriers can do some more damage. So let's try this. Um, I don't know. Here maybe? Or do they... Yeah, let's go. Let's go there. Just down strikes. And I don't know, here. What was that? Somebody doesn't have enough torpedoes? 26? I mean, in general, there should be enough. Okay, whatever. Let's launch them separately. I think then it suddenly works. Um. For whatever reason, if you do it manually um, and uh, select the single units, it works. So let's just do that. <coughs> um, I couldn't stream yes Steel Division yesterday because the noise was too big. They were drilling the wall almost continuously. So um, there was no, no, it did, just didn't make sense. I could barely understand myself there. And as I've heard now, they are continuing to work for one more month. So I have no idea how it's going to work out at least, but at least I've checked. Um, a new apartment a couple of days ago, and um, I think I'll get like news today or tomorrow. Um, because I ne I'm negotiating the price, the rental price, and that should be quieter there. And um, yeah, but that is somewhat in the future still. So, and I'm leaving for Europe in um, a couple of weeks. So the streams then will be kind. Th the stream will be. Uh, I might be streaming occasionally, but definitely not much, um, while I'm in Europe. Yeah, Blücher wasn't really successful. Those um, Deflinger class has not really um, the Deflinger class had not has not really impressed. I think there were like uh, several of them were just exploding. But on the other hand, I mean a, ba uh, a heavy cruiser. What was the distance here? A few miles. That is like on four miles hitting um, three enemy battle cruisers, you can't really expect a, a heavy cruiser to survive this. So I don't think um, this means a, um, a flaw of the design by itself. I mean that the designs could have been better, no question, and it can always be. I should have probably gone down with the caliber and made it a better, faster, more torpedoes, I don't know. But so far they haven't impressed, that's right. Okay, so their battle cruisers are still up there. Let's take the Ostafrika somewhat close. And where are my airstrikes? Let's see, still not coming in. Okay, so I try to reattach every unit now and just keep them like basically in one big force together. I can always detach them as soon as um, as soon as I have to engage something. But having them close together should mean that the anti-air is better and um, that should hopefully help. Okay, so Junkers 153, are those the torpedo bombers? Yes, they are. Okay, maybe I'm lucky. And get an airstrike. Yes, uh, two torpedo hits. Very nice. 
that one is actually slowing down, I think. be optimistic and try a torpedo attack here. I mean, it, this guy has 16 on board. As soon as he can identify that battle cruiser, he should definitely go for it. Oh, that is nice. Those are a lot of torpedo bombers incoming. Okay, that one is turning? Or is it just charging mine? Um, should probably just turn hard right and then pass him and try to torpedo him before I get sunk. Ah, damn it, I clicked space once too often. Well, let's try it anyways. And he's turning. It's hard to, um, to hit him with torps when he's turning, but I did hit him. Nice. Okay, let's launch the other one as well. And then let's get the hell out of dodge after we empty the the other side on those targets here. No, they are turning away. Okay. For whatever reason, the cruiser is hitting the battle cruiser like crazy, and the battle cruiser doesn't even shoot back yet. That is surprising. Maybe out of ammo. I have no idea. Let's launch more torpedoes. As said, it's highly unlikely that it's gonna hit. But why shouldn't we try? Okay. Let's oh there was another battle cruiser up there, okay. Okay, let's um retreat. Have the carriers another go, maybe they are lucky, something up here. One-eyed Woodleg is running around. Does he still have torpedoes? Should we send Woodleg on a suicide run? Oh, I can't take control. Too bad. <laughs> um, yeah. Any carrier going crazy? No. So he has three battle cruisers up here. I have found them. I need to check on my battleships. I would so much love to engage them. 13 knots top speed, 56. That's not good. So this is one battle cruiser. That one we can use. And one battleship we can use. I don't think. This is down to 84. That's, a, that's really dangerous. And they're going 11 knots. Let's go down to 8 just to make sure. And um, yeah, so we have basically two battleships that are fully combat capable. Nope, I don't think we can take them on anymore. So let's, um, I don't know, move. And another torpedo head. Very nice. Maybe the aircraft carriers are more lucky. Let's turn to the southeast and even more torpedo hits. Perfect. I think that's uh, we incre the increasing number should mean that one of them is basically about to stop. Yeah. So that's that's that can give us hope that we might actually be able to sink it. Let's take the carriers over there as well. So we can go for whatever that is. Stravanga? I don't know. Yeah, it's Stavanga. It's the closest port, I think. Yeah, by far. At least the closest friendly port. Okay, they are going 8 knots. Let's take the others down to 8 as well, so they are staying together. Okay, so, so far no more hits. 
but we could try the dive bombers I mean not uh, not that I hope too much from them but why not and they have eight ready torpedo bombers can they launch as well they can nice okay dive bombers two no two doesn't really make sense launch Dive bomber and one and two, yeah. They are basically all repairing right now if they have returned at all so far. So let's just use the dive bombers. Okay. I mean, they are close enough for heavy air attacks, for heavy load which might still do some damage to